And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment concerning sin because they do not believe in me concerning righteousness because I go to the Father and you will see me no longer concerning judgment because the ruler of this world is judged you may be seated in the presence of the Lord I, I don't know that I'm explaining it to you I'm saying I'm saying that if you preach the gospel you get gospel people if you preach a worldly message, you get people of the world. And so that's why it's necessary, that's why it's necessary to tell them the truth. Tell them the bad news so they can get the good news. Understand that precision provides precedent uh, for prosecution. I'm trying to say, listen now, the Holy Spirit can't prosecute if you're not precise with the word. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? I, I'm saying precision, precision provides power for him to transform a life. No precise word, no power for salvation. People trying to save people on their own. You got to understand that we're all witnesses. The Holy Spirit has empowered us to be witnesses. I'm going to skip over a lot here. Perhaps uh, those of you who are using the notes uh, to do Bible study, you can go over the rest of it. But I want you to understand the Holy Spirit is here using the word, but he can only prosecute when you preach and proclaim the word Precisely. He can't convict on some sugar-coated sedative that you give people. You got to give them the word of God. First of all, let me tell you very quickly. I'm going to leave you alone now. First of all, he convicts of sin. You see the verse there? It says, and when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin. It's verse 8. Concerning sin because they do not believe in me. I want you to understand that the foundation for every sin, every sin, is that people do not believe Jesus Christ. Whatever your sin is, it boils down to this. And Jesus says in John 8, 24, unless, unless you believe in me, you will die in your sin. Brothers and sisters, that's what you've got to tell the world. You can't tell them it'll be okay if you don't believe in Jesus, you will die in your sins. The Holy Spirit is here to point that message out. He wants you to understand that uh, it's a sin, not a syndrome. I, I, I'll, I'll rush on real quick. Um, it's the difference between having a mechanic, which is good, and a technician. <laughs> which is better. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, what people want to do is they want to say that I have an issue and it's not iniquity. See, see if, if, if it's a syndrome, you expect the doctor to fix it. But if you call it what it is, if you call it sin, the only person who can fix it is Jesus Christ. That's the problem. I'm telling you, there it is. That's the problem. We're not telling the world that you have sin. We're saying, you have a syndrome. You have an issue, but the Holy Spirit is here. And he says, you must tell them because when you bring them into an awareness of the sin, then they can hear the sentencing from the Spirit. And when they hear that they are sentenced, that's 
when they start crying out for a savior. But if you tell them they just have a syndrome, I don't need a savior. If you tell them they just got an issue, I don't need a savior. If you tell them they can have a mechanic under a shade tree, they'll never take their car to a technician. Oh, that's why so many people are spiritual today. I got two more points. So many people are spiritual today. And not Christian. They, 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 they'll tell you, I, I'm, I'm spiritual. But they don't go to church. They don't believe, in, I believe in a God. But not the God. They have a mechanic. I'm sorry, I kind of keep coming. They have a mechanic, they don't have a technician. But when you acknowledge that I have a sin problem. A doctor can't fix a sin problem. Apologies. A doctor can't fix a sin problem. The only person who can fix a sin problem is Jesus Christ. And, and, and you, don't, you don't feel bad. Listen, I got to rush on, rush on through its point. But listen now, when you know a person has a problem that requires a technician, you don't have a problem telling them, yeah, it's going to be expensive. You got to go over here though. You don't, you, you don't have a problem. When, when, when you know that that car can only be fixed by a professional. Now, now John John them may be able to fix your 1978 Oldsmobile. But now that you've got a 2022, you, you need a technician. You, and you don't have no problem. Listen, if you call it a sin, you have no problem saying, honey, you need Jesus. I wish I could stay there a little longer. I got to move on. And then he convicts of righteousness. You see it there in the text. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning righteousness. Concerning righteousness because, because what? Do you, do you see it in the text? Help me. Because what? Because I go to the Father. None but the righteous shall see God. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Jesus says, I'm the only one with the credentials to get in. He says, I am the way. John 14. Yeah. 14, 6. The truth and the life. And I want to tell you that no man can come to the Father. I remember uh, when I first uh, took my kids uh, Chuck E. Cheese, and uh, they'd have all the arcades there, and uh, I wasn't aware of what was going on. Uh, I was poor. I didn't have an arcade. I didn't have all this kind of thing in my life. And so when we walked in, you know, they, they tell me I need some coins. I, I got coins. They said, but if you want to play back there, you need our coins. And when you get back there and you're playing, and you run out, you can reach in and get coins from your pocket. But only our coins work. Oh, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to rush on and leave you all alone. But, 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 but some folk are going to get to heaven with their own righteousness. And they're going to look in their pocket for their own coin. God is saying you can't get in here unless you got righteousness from Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm trying to tell you. Oh, Jesus says the Holy Spirit convicts of righteousness because I go to the Father. Well, y'all don't care what I'm saying. He said, I go, I'm, I'm the only one who can get there. And listen now. As Uncle Jimmy would say, he says, I'm on my way to heaven, and if you don't know the direction, grab my coattail. Listen, Jesus is in heaven, and if you don't know the way, grab his coattail. Oh, listen now, you need to understand that his righteousness is imputed, given to those who believe in him. I got to move on. I can't say that long. I'm sorry. And then convicts of judgment. And when... He comes, 
He will convict. Don't y'all be bothered by the baby. The baby is doing what the baby ought to do is cry. Some of y'all ought to be saying amen. And when he comes, he will convict the world of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. What does that mean? What does that mean? He's arguing from the greater to the lesser. Yeah, yeah. The, the greater is, he's saying, the ruler of this world is already judged. God is saying that when Satan sinned, I judged him. If I judged the greatest sinner there ever was, how do you think you're going to get away? <laughs> that, that, that's, what, that's what he's saying. He's saying, I've already judged the ruler of this world. Now, are you hearing what I'm saying? I, I wish I had time to go through it because I, 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 I want to be a, all brilliant, as it were, and tell you how God's uh, record against sin was a strong record. The fact is, he cursed the snake, Satan, in the garden. Isaiah 14, cast them down. Jesus said in Luke 10, I saw him fall like lightning. You, you know the whole story, right? I, I don't want to bore you with that, but I'm trying to say that Satan has already been judged. And I don't remember where I read it, but, but, but some old writer said that, uh, oh, I know who it was, John Piper, that uh, uh, Satan is like a dog uh, left with a bark, but without teeth. What, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, the devil keeps on barking in your life. Yeah. Stephanie, but the good news is he ain't got no teeth. Right. Oh, uh, uh, I'm just saying, uh, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna bark now. You, uh, what, what you think? Ain't Teresa, he's gonna bark. Yeah. Arthur, he's gonna bark. I'm, I'm taking Yolanda. He's gonna, he's gonna bark, but he can't bite. Because he's already been defamed. Uh, so I want you to understand, brothers and sisters, that it becomes your job and my job to give the world the exact message of Jesus Christ so that the Holy Spirit has precedent to prosecute. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And when he does, people say, oh my, I am a sinner. I've been sentenced. I need a savior. Are you feeling what I'm saying? I was uh, invited uh, to show somebody our channel, YouTube, and uh, I was unfamiliar with their television and their remote. And I grabbed the remote and I'm flipping through um, their deal there to try to find YouTube of all the apps and such. And I noticed something very curious. Francis, uh, when I pressed right, the indicator went left. Vern, Vern, look, when, when I pressed down, it went up. And I said, man, all, all these smart TVs, I'm, I'm telling you, I, 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 I can't understand. But maybe they, they programmed it improperly. So, so Dirk, listen, Patricia, I just, I, just, I just kept on pressing. I finally figured out in the abnormality of the moment to... Press the opposite button. I'm looking for the app, and if I want to go up, I just press down. And, and if I want to go down, I pressed up. If I want to go right, I press left. I, I, I got used to it. I'm going to talk to Emmanuel. Emmanuel, after a while, I'm going to tell you what I figured out. I had the remote upside down. <laughs> Mother asked, listen, I'm going to tell you. I mean, today is going to be a sad day when people get to heaven and they realize they had the remote upside down. 
you, you, you say, what do you mean, Thomas? What do you mean? Well, 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 the Bible says, love your enemy as yourself. But if you got the remote upside down, the world says, love yourself. Because the remote is upside down. I, 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 I'm trying to get you to understand that if, if you don't do it the way the Bible says to do it. The Bible says, love your enemy, but the world says, get revenge. God says revenge is mine, but, but the world says, if you got the remote upside down, and I'm afraid that many preachers are preaching from the pulpit information that's upside down. And people are going to get to heaven, and they're going to say, I pressed the right button. He's going to say, but I don't know you. <laughs> going to say, I went to church, Matthew 7, 22. I went to church, prophesied in your name, but I don't know you. I sang in the choir and led songs. And people shouted all over the place. But I still don't know you. Oh, I led the mission society. And I, I helped in the evangelistic effort of the church. But it was upside down. I don't know who you are. I want you to understand that God is the judge. You're a sinner. I'm a sinner. The only righteousness that gets us to heaven is the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Like it or not, God is going to judge. You remember recently here that the um, uh, Senate, U.S. Senate, confirmed Jackson as the first female justice. Black female. Um, what a historic moment. Um, Watch she sits on the Supreme Court. She will hand down judgments that have implications for the world's legal system, implications. But authority in the U.S. Well, that's, that's awesome. That's powerful. I mean, she's going to move from where she is, circuit court, and she's going to sit Supreme Court Justice. She's going to make ruling that will have implications for the world. But authority in the U.S. That's powerful, but her authority is limited. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to tell you that, that, that that's, that's great. But her authority is only in the U.S. and her decisions will have implications. But let me tell you who is the supreme judge. Let me tell you who is the final judge. Tell you that uh, Jackson might make a decision that somebody could appeal. But I know a judge that when he finally makes his decision, there is no appeal. God is the final judge of the universe. So I beg you right now, get it right. Get it right now. So that when you stand before God, oh, he doesn't see your righteousness. 
but he sees the righteousness of Jesus Christ. I don't want God looking at me. Are you, Millie, are you hearing what I'm saying, Diane? Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't want God looking at me. I want God to see Jesus. I, I'm done. I got, oh, good gracious. But all eyes will be on Jesus. When I stand before the judgment throne, God is going to look past me and see Jesus. And when I stand before the judgment throne, listen, let me tell you what my eyes are going to be. My eyes won't be on the judge. My eyes will be on Jesus. And, and if I had some help, and I know I'm, I know I'm way over, but I remember old people would say that uh, I just want to see Jesus. Yeah. And then they say, the man who died for me. Yeah. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. I, okay, okay, I'm long, but now I got to ask you, is there anybody here? Yeah. Jesus.